Hi there, everybody. It's another challenge for these two teams and a challenge for us in the commentary box, as always. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith's with me. Not too much of a challenge. I don't think it should be a good game, this. And our match today is Milan playing today against Genoa. How will Milan fare today? Well, there's no doubt they have got time to get their season back on track, but what we've seen so far from them, I'm not sure they can actually achieve that. Mid-table and not what they were wanting. Well, they're glad to have him in the lineup today, aren't they? They wouldn't want to miss out on his talents, Milan. And it's the speed of the of this player, and it's something you can't coach, obviously. When he gets going, when he's a mind to it, he's uh, he's not going to be caught. This is the Milan lineup. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Alessio Romagnoli plays with Gabriel Paletta in central defence. De Lefeu plays with Suso in the wide positions. Carlos Bacca is the main striker today. Let's check now on Genoa and their team lineup today. Well, three at the back, that's the first thing that catches the eye. What about the rest of the team? Well, it looks to be a 3-4-3. Three, three. You certainly don't see it that often. And when it works, it can catch the opposition off guard, really. It can be a really awkward shape to contend with. Well, there have been some awkward times for Milan recently. One thing that's never, never decreased is the impact of this stadium. I know they share it, um, but... It is a proper football amphitheatre. It certainly is, when it's full. I don't know if make a, a noise, these fans, and uh, the fact that they do share it with Inter doesn't seem to detract from the, the atmosphere they do create. Abate. Here's Veloso. Could be dangerous. Here's the cross. And the defender really putting his body on the line to stop the cross. Suso. Challenges for the ball. Paladino. Here's Veloso. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Thought more would have come from that, you know. Kuchka. It's Baka. Possession changes feet. Attacking well here. Kuchka. Free kick given. It's a yellow card, and, well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Looking back on it, he had no choice at all. Well, you run the risk when you go to ground like that with a slide tackle of getting into serious trouble. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. Shots on! Over the bar and the chance is gone.
Abate. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. He's made the save. Carlos Baca. Milan are attacking now. To take the lead. Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. And that's deflected behind. It will be a corner. Well, there was that attempt, Alan. Let's look back on it now. Not a good attempt, I think we can safely say, to try and smash it in from that distance. He just lost his accuracy. Fist away by the keeper. Here's a chance to attack. We could be in. Here's the chance. Now they have the advantage. That's a great breakaway. The counter attack. Time to perfection, executed to perfection. Yeah, you see this more and more in the modern-day game. It's all about pace, and the score certainly showed it there. Could be the trigger for this game, the catalyst for change. It's not been very good so far. I don't think we're wrong to admit that, but I have to say, now it's exciting. They've got the goal. It has, and it's going to force the opposition out. They've got to show the hand a bit more. Oh, he's totally, totally done the defender. And in he goes with the tackle. And it, he might be through. Back up! He sliced through them, sliced them apart. Oh, he's just got overexcited there. We all thought he was going to score. Miguel Veloso. Milan would like to be more masterful, I think, in this game at the moment. It's a difficult fixture for them. They probably expected that, but having got in front, and that will peter out that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. Attacking play from Milan. Good defending. Pinilla. to play his teammate through. Well, it's a poor cross, not well hit at all. Dealt with by the defending side. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Attacking now. Wonderful chance! Well, he could have scored so close. Half-time, signalled by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. 
I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. Second half time at the San Siro tonight. On to the attack now. That pass never looked like reaching its target, and they're away with the ball. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. It's Baca. There's some potential in this move. This is... Deo Lefeo! I know what will happen in training, Alan. They'll do that for him and show him what an awful miss it was. Well, I don't think he'll be rushing home to watch the highlights tonight. Miguel Veloso. It goes out wide again. Probing away. Trying, well, he's caught offside, trying to get in behind. He'll say that the pass should have come a bit earlier. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. Paletta. Substitute coming up for the away team. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Well, they're in a good position here. But it'll be a throw now after the tackle. They've decided to make a change. And being behind, you can understand that. Into the attacking third. And Elta up. Paladino. Oh, well, credit for the effort, the intention, but the technique was poor. And he'll have to go back to the training ground to improve that uh, part of his game. Well, I think he will. The manager will be at him for that because it was, a, it was an easy header. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Mario Pasalic. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Trying to find a way through. Deo Lefeo! Well, he accepted the responsibility, but I think the way the ball moved meant that he couldn't accept the chance. No, just bounced up on him. It looks a bad miss, but I think he was unlucky there. Miguel Veloso. It was good progress with this attack. Pinea! Great stop. Twenty minutes now remaining. 
A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Opportunity here. Oh, this was a chance to wrap up the game. Wasn't it just? And uh, so often you see them live to regret that kind of miss. Paladino. Here's Veloso. They've got the ball back. The interceptor got it for them. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Milan are attacking now. He's got it away. Tries the through pass. Plenty of good play both in attack and defence and of course in midfield too from Milan where they control much of the game and they have been the dominant force. It's going... Well the flag's up, he's frustrated because he is caught offside. Maybe he made his run a bit too soon. Doesn't need to go as soon as he did there. The noise levels have gone up even more. And the scenario remains the same, the one-goal lead, and we're into the last ten minutes. By the way things are shaping up, it looks like the home team are going to see out this lead, but still a chance for things to change. Goran Panda. Attacking now. And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. So frustrating for them. They're on the attack. They can't break through. Onto the attack now. And heads it towards goal. So a corner to come, and it's still not over yet. chance now but this oh it's such a close game well it wasn't a very close effort was it no as the clock ticks on I think that's the pressure got to him really and he just made the wrong choice maybe the chance to salvage something from this game that is the full-time whistle, and it's victory for Milan. Really good game to watch, good attacking play, edge of the seat stuff for the spectators. It's what the game's all about. Yeah, and there's nothing better, Martin, than seeing quality strikers go about the work, and uh, they certainly did today, they were at the top of the game. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances.